Hello, this is Nick. Today I'm going to show you how to, to disable sleep mode um, in through a group policy through a Windows server. Uh, right now I'm using server 2011, but this could also work on 2008 or 2012. Um, so first thing you would do is open the group policy manager. And I'm assuming your server is on an active directory um, and your computer's already connected to it. So what we're going to do first is once we've opened it up, we're going to right click and we're going to click new. And we're going to call this don't sleep. That way if something goes wrong, you can always delete this um, site. Now you're going to right click and you're going to hit edit. Uh, you could also select this to uh, an individual set of computers, but I just want the entire office to have this setting. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, I'm going to show you the way I prefer, and I'll show you a different method as well. So I'm going to go to Preferences under User Configuration, then Control Panel, and you're going to go to Power Options. Now what you're going to do is you're going to create a new... Now I'm using uh, Vista and Later, so you might have to do, create two um, plans if you have XP systems still, but I have pretty much all Windows 7 systems. Now, my goal is to not have them go to sleep so I can remote at, in at any time and I have to keep uh, trying to wake them up or calling my client and having them turn the systems on. So I'm going to go high performance. I'm going to go in and hit create. I'm going to change this to default. You just If you leave the default name, it gets a little upset uh, with you here. I'm going to set this as the active plan and apply. Now I'll go through the settings. Just verify this is everything I want. Turn off hard drive zero, which will not turn off the hard drive. Keep in mind this will use more power for the client. Um, so generally I have the clients turn the system off during the weekend if it's a system they're not going to use on the weekend. Otherwise through the week they just leave it on so we can do with scans and things like that. Um, basically la battery power, I leave all these usually default. High performance is pretty pretty much good. Now, one other thing, if you want to set this to only run on certain users, you can target. Just check off this targeting, hit targeting, hit new item, and you can choose individual, uh, well, entire security group is what I recommend, or individual users that you want this to, to run on. I'm just going to leave this unchecked, and that will apply to everyone. Apply. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you can do a GP update. And that should force the policy through the network. Um, you might have to do a GP update front slash force, possibly. So that's good. That's that's the way I prefer it. The one other way you can do it um, is you can go into computer settings, administrative settings, uh, system. Then we're going to go down here to power management and sleep settings. Um, you have a couple more options in here that you can configure them one by one. They're going to give you a plug-in option and then a battery option. So for me, this takes a little bit longer time, um, but you could do this, and this would be pretty much universal through XP7, Vista 8, whatever you're using. So that's an additional way to do it. Um, so that is what I recommend you doing if you're sick of having to turn the systems off. You're either trying to Windows Remote in, use remote software like Log Me In. Um, the, another option for you out there just to research is also Wake on LAN. That is an option that a lot of remote softwares have that allow you to turn the system on uh, from a remote location. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments. Thanks.